What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I wanted to discuss how to activate your PlayStation 4 as the primary console, how to deactivate it, what is the purpose of activating it as a primary console, and if games get locked, how do you unlock them? Now I wanted to touch on the subject so if you guys already know how you can disregard this video that's fine that's cool but this video is designed for those of you that have the question as to why would you need to activate your PlayStation 4 as a primary console what is the purpose of it and some people have even asked you know some of my contents locked why is it locked and I wanted to go through those steps with you and also kind of explain so starting off I wanted to explain why would I want to activate my PlayStation 4 as a primary console? So, on my Monkey Flop account, this is a good example, my Monkey Flop account has a lot of purchases. Um, some of them are purchases, some of them are just from the PlayStation Plus Instant Game Collection. Either way, I have a lot of content on my Monkey Flop account. Now, the importance of activating it as my primary console is because I can share these games with anybody else that logs on and plays with my PlayStation 4. If I had my account deactivated to this PlayStation 4, then, well, Monkey Flop would be the only account that would have access to the games. So, the reason why we activate it as your primary console is because you're actually allowing access to any other user that logs onto your PlayStation 4 access to your video game library, your digital game library, if you will. Now, I'm gonna show you guys really quickly. If you go into settings, you go into PlayStation Network account management, and then you go down to activate as your primary PS4. You go and do that, and as you guys can see, Monkey Flops already activated as my primary for PlayStation 4. Um, I can deactivate it, and like I said, if I deactivate it, then only I have access to the content that I have purchased. But since it's activated as a PlayStation 4 primary console, then everyone has access to the games. Now, there's another thing. Um, if you know and you've checked your download history and you know certain games are on your account But for whatever reason they are locked you can go to restore licenses you click on restore licenses and If you're having problem downloading content previously downloaded content or maybe um, Some of the contents locked you can go in hit restore licenses and it's going to restore uh, whatever you have on your PlayStation 4. Right now I have 192 um, things on my PlayStation 4. So it's restoring all the licenses as we speak right now. Now as soon as that finishes, um, I'm actually going to go log, log into another account um, and I'll show you guys really quickly uh, what I'm talking about. So Fat Princess, I purchased on Monkey Flop. Now I can go in and play this on Monkey Flop or I can log out of my PlayStation 4. No. And then log back in as my other account. And when I do that, as you guys can see, I can log in and play as fat princess now i'm going to give you another example really quickly i'm going to actually switch users um, this way it'll be a little bit faster and i'm going to go into my monkey flop account and deactivate it so that way you guys can see exactly what i'm talking about because the reason why i'm doing this video is because i get this question fairly often especially with uh game sharing and different things like that so i'd like to have a uh, a resource and a reference to give you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and deactivate monkey flop as my primary account once I do that as the uh, PlayStation loads okay once I do that check it out check it out okay 
my play my my controller logged off real quick okay as you guys can see i am let me go ahead and switch users back to monkey flop so that way you guys can see really quickly um so as you guys can see monkey flop has got all these games right he's got all these games um star wall pt's there freaking awesome right twisted metal rocket league all these downloadable games are on my my uh home screen and i can play them they're not locked okay now check this out because monkey flop is not activated as a primary console if i switch users and let's say scott flop wants to uh wants to play some of the games now they're locked and that is actually the importance of why you would want to activate it as your primary uh, PS4 system. Now, I wanted to make this video um, because I wanted to be very general and straight to the point. Um, I be believe me, guys. I get I get hundreds of comments um, all the all the time about game sharing and, and the different ways to game share and and. Um, the importance of activating or deactivating what's the purpose of it so basically I wanted to just do a general video an overview of pretty much what activating your primary console would be now I'm gonna go ahead and activate um, just so that way you guys can see I'm doing all of this live right now okay my PlayStation 4 is now activated as a primary console um, for monkey flop monkey flop is the primary account holder on the PlayStation 4. You can have more than one person activated as your primary account um, if you have more than one. So now that I've um, activated Monkey Flop, all the other accounts on my PlayStation 4 will be unlocked and I have access to each and every one of them. Um, that goes for the downloadable games and that also goes see grand theft auto 5 it's all there um this also goes for dlc and themes and different things like that so definitely know what let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below i hope i help somebody out out there um because again guys i get this question fairly often um, let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section below if you would take two seconds out of your day Hit a like that really helps me out if you haven't already subscribed I keep you guys up to date on all of the latest PlayStation 4 PlayStation Plus news updates all that good stuff So you don't have to uh, I hope you guys appreciate this video and I will see you guys in the next news update You guys are freaking awesome as always